Boss Fight Gaming. Get ready, fight! Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial video. Boss Fight Gaming here, and today we are playing Auto Rally and going for the Expresso achievement. And this is to find all the collectibles in San Pietro Island. Now, just to point out, you will need to find all the collectibles, well, the letters at least, um, from the other level, which is Karatataki Lakes. Now you will have to find all of the letters on that level before you can join this one. But once you've done that, you're okay to join San Pietro Island. You can do this from free roam from the main menu. You can choose whatever car you want, whatever settings you want, as long as you join on free roam on San Pietro. So right here at the beginning guys, just gonna point out that the first collectible is pretty much right here, which is a camera viewpoint. Now, on my screen it won't be there that's because I've filmed this twice now and the first time the video file corrupted so there's actually two collectibles on this level which won't actually be on my screen but I will show you where they are anyway just so you guys are at the same point as me I do apologize for this but again my video did corrupt so I couldn't show you where they were without doing the entire game again so I'm gonna show you where they all are anyway you'll have no problems keeping up trust me you'll have no problems finding them because I'll be showing you where they all are. Well, let's get that started now. So we're gonna go right, just after the beginning, follow the road around, and we're gonna take the first right at the junction. Now, the camera collectible, which is the viewpoint, will be around here somewhere, remembering that you have to use Y to actually activate it. Again, it won't be on my screen now because I've already collected it and my video file corrupted. So again, I'm just showing you roughly where it is. It is here. Again, there it is on the map. Once you've collected it, we're just going to head to the left and we're going to move on to our next collectible. So once we turn left, we're just going to follow this road and you'll see a football pitch on the left hand side. And our first collectible just to the right of it, which is our red tape. Again, every time I get a collectible, I am going to show you where on the map it is. So if you are struggling to find it, pause the video on the map and take your vehicle to there, remembering that every single collectible is on a road. Once we've got the red tape, we're just going to continue down south and just keep following the same road. We're not going to turn it off, we're just going, to keep, just going to keep going. So just keep following this road. These roads can be a little bit tough because there's a lot of, lots of little hills just to the side of them. So it's very easy to topple your car or to get your car stuck up a tree, for example. Um, you can have a laugh, it's fine. Terrible driving, I know. But once you are um, following this road right at the bottom right near the sea we're going to take a ride and we're just going to keep following it around and then we will get our second camera remembering that there was another one that we couldn't see well you should get it anyway and this is the second so right at the south part of the island we're going to get our second viewpoint remember you need to press y to use it and then press b to continue driving when you're ready once you've collected that, we're going to carry on driving along the same road, so the most southern road. And when we get to our next junction, just past this little jump, we're actually going to take a left here. So you might want to slow down and take a left. Once you've done that, we're just going to keep following it ahead and get our next collectible, which is the blue tape. This is our second tape, so tape number two. Again, it's right there in the middle of the most southern point. And I'm just showing you it on the map. So if you have any, if you're struggling to find it yourself, just pause the video on the map and drive your vehicle to that point. Again, remembering that you are the orange marker on the map. Once we've done that, we're going to keep following this same road, preferably driving a bit better than I am. Just keep following it around all the way around the bottom part of the island, and then we're going to start heading north now along this main road. So start heading north and just keep following this road until we get to the most western point of the island. Keep following it up towards the big fort area. And at the junction, we're gonna just continue straight on. You can go either way. However, I decide to go straight on. Both collectibles are just around this corner. The first being the A here. Again, I'm gonna put the map up so you can see exactly where it is. Right there. And then we're going to follow it around a little bit more and go around this bend and we have our next collectible which is another viewpoint again remember guys if you are struggling to find these by following the video just pause it on the map get yourself to that point and you will be able to find it very very easily 
Once we've got that collectible, which is the camera, we're just going to carry on along this main road. No turning off, just keep on it, and eventually it will lead us back to the beginning. So just keep following this road back to the beginning. Preferably trying to drive a little bit better than I do. I do end up going off the road quite a bit. That's just because I'm a terrible driver. Anyway, so yeah, just keep following this road back towards the beginning. Cross this little bridge. I'm just going to keep going. Now, I do take a couple of shortcuts on this tutorial, just because I think it's quicker. However, it probably would have just been quicker going across the road, but I do cut that corner out. It's up to you whether you want to follow the road or just cut that out yourself. But once we get to this junction, we're actually going to go right here, which adds up towards our next sort of cluster of collectibles. So take a ride. You can or cannot go through this spray if you don't want to. Drive around it. If you do, just go through it like I did. Keep going, and on this main road, you will get your second letter. No, is it second? Yes, yeah, second letter, which is the R. Now, on the bottom of the screen, it will show that I've collected an extra L. That's because, again, I'd done that before the video corrupted on me, and I will show you where that is very soon. Yeah, we're on two letters at the moment, which is the R and the A. We collected the A first, and then the R. Continue along this main road until you get to where the balloons are, and then you will get your second third I believe snap point so this is our third camera viewpoint collect that by pressing Y and pressing B to continue in fact that's our fourth viewpoint my apologies so that's our fourth camera viewpoint continue along this main road and just keep going when you get to the junction there's a bit of a turn off on the left in just a second we're just gonna go straight ahead and get our next collectible which is our fifth and final tape. Oh no, sorry, our third tape. My apologies, our third tape. Don't know why I thought that was our last tape. It's because I was looking at the cameras. So that's our third tape, my apologies. So we've got three tapes at the moment, four cameras and two letters. You should have those. So three tapes, four cameras, two letters. Mine is the owl because you haven't got it yet. Go back the way you came anyway after you've collected that tape and then take a right along the turning that we missed. And just on the right hand side here, we will find our van, our truck or whatever you want to call it or whatever you call it in your country or your origins. We call it a van here in this country. We're going to get that little van and then we're going to move on. Again, you can't actually collect it. You just need to get close enough for it to register. And now we're going to get our fifth and final camera viewpoint, which is just here again on the map there. I paused it so you can see where that is. But yeah, as long as you make your way to here, you should be able to get that pretty easily. Now, we can drive all the way back to the beginning if you want to, if you want to rack up those miles towards your achievement. However, I just quit back to the main menu and I'm going to reload the free roam up. So go down to free roam, go over to San Pietro Island and we're going to join in again. Again, you're probably best joining in on Group A, the Fuji. The reason being is you need to get 555 kilometers in this car. So it makes sense just to use it as much as possible whenever you can. However, you can use whatever car you like. It's really your discretion. Once you've loaded back in, again, you could have drove back to this point or you could have done this. I personally think it's quicker just to load it up again. So once you've loaded it up, and we're back at the beginning. We're just going to do the same again, but this time we're going to head in a different direction. We're just going to take a left at the first crossroads here and follow it up towards the north now. Just through this wash, you can go through it or not. It's really your discretion. So just up ahead, you will see the aisle that I got, and it's not on the video. It should be just right here on this bend. This is the letter aisle that I collected before my video corrupted. It is right here. And that means we're up to date. So after you've collected that, you're in the same situation as me. All the other collectibles will be on screen. That was the missing owl right there. So anyway, continuing north, uh, well, not sort of northwest, we're just going to follow this road and continue on all the way and following it around. Now, I do cut across here because there's quite a bit of road to go that way. You can cut across. So just sort of keep heading west and cut across towards the road that's just up ahead. Again, if you want to stick to the road, that's absolutely fine. I am going to pause it at every single collectible just so you can see where I am. And you can make your way to there. However, I do cut across the ground there. And again, 
um, you can do so. Also, however, because of the bumps and stuff, it is a little bit tricky on this level to make shortcuts, but it's really up to you guys. Do that or stick to the road. Anyway, once you got to that road, the main road, we're just going to keep heading north along the coast, the western coast, and you will get your next collectible, which is the purple tape. Again, you can see there on the map, if you're struggling to find it, pause the, uh, pause the video and get to that point on the map, and you'll have no problem finding it. We're going to continue along this same road, preferably not driving into trees and off the side of the road like me. Hopefully you're a lot better driver than I am, I imagine you are. We're going to continue heading north through the little archway and continue to head up. Again, it is ter I am a terrible driver on this game, so do apologise um, for that. So yeah, keep going, preferably not landing on the side of this area, and we're just going to keep going. Again, do apologize for the terrible driving. If you do crash, like me, don't worry about it. I do crash again pretty much straight away from what I remember. But yeah, just keep heading east now along the most northern coastline. Try not to take that little dip and crash your car. And you'll see just the top of the screen there, we are about to collect our owl letter, our second owl letter. So this one you should be able to see well, you can see because I can see it now myself, but here it is, the letter L, and it's right there at the most northernish part of the map. Well, it's not the most northern, but it is north. As soon as we get that, we're going to cut across the land, heading back towards the southeast. Now, the reason for this is there's quite a long road to get all the way around. However, it's really up to you. If you want to use the roads, just take the next right if you carry on straight and just follow that down. Otherwise, just cut across the land like myself, heading southeast and you will reach the road again. Now there's a couple of big hills and stuff that you do need to go over again. It is a little bit tricky, so just take your time and eventually you will hit the road. It's just over this next hill, I believe. Mine is bumping into a tree, which I could see from a mile away. So just keep going over and over this next hill, there is the next road. Again, you can see where I am on the radar there on the map, so if you want to pause it until you've seen where I am on the map, but yeah, southeastern position, angle, and then we'll end up on this main road, and you will get your next collectible, which is the yellow tape. Again, if you struggle to follow me across the land there, just pause this video on the map and make your way to that point there. Again, it is displayed by an orange icon on the radar. So once you've done that, we're going to turn our car, do a U-turn, and we're going to head back up north a little bit, and we're going to take the next right-hand turn in. And our collectible is right here, and that is the final letter collectible, which should open our next level, which is, I believe, Japan. So yeah, once you've done that, keep coming up here and collect the final letter, achievement unlocked, and you will have all the letters and all the collectibles for this level. Again, guys, thank you very much for watching. We really appreciate all your support. We're getting a lot of support at the moment with people, new people liking our channel people commenting and people giving us lots of support so we're very very grateful for that there's your achievement please consider hitting us up if you haven't already and we'll see you in the next video take care guys boss fight gaming you lose game over